Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Yeah, well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Today, this is the Valder Beebe Show, broadcasting live in Dallas, Texas. Who do I have in the studio with me? Uh, this is Duncan Wood of uh, TCT. Uh, Debbie Holton of SME. Well, Duncan and Debbie, thank you so much for joining me today. You guys are going to talk about manufacturing. Debbie, if you would lead, lead us off, and then I'll come back to you, Duncan. Sure. Sure. Uh, what we'd like to talk about today is really just kind of breaking some of the myths about what people think about manufacturing, that it's dark, dirty, and dangerous. And that's really not the case. It's a high-tech field, a lot of very rewarding careers, and it's not the smokestacks and assembly lines that people think about. Debbie, how do you get a job in manufacturing? Do you go to a trade school, or is it something you just segue into? Well, I'll tell you, there's a lot of opportunities in manufacturing that go from a GED degree to a PhD degree. So it's all levels of training. Um, folks that are graduating from high school could go to a brief technical program at a local community college, or they could pursue a four-year degree in engineering and all the way up the scale. So um, I think it's for folks that are interested in being creative and design and, and bringing their ideas to life. Okay, I'm going to come back and ask you about 3D printing. Uh, Duncan, sure. what can you add to the conversation? Um, well, I think that the, uh, as Debbie has said, that engineering right now is, is an exciting place to be and it's an exciting career for our young people to pursue. Uh, and I think the challenge that we have as a manufacturing industry and indeed as our organization is to change that perspective. And that's part of uh, our, our new partnership that we've created. Uh, and that is exactly what we'll be trying to do, showcase what you can do in engineering and how exciting it really is. And your company, tell me how your company connects with manufacturing. Well, TCT has been around for 24 years, uh, and essentially we have magazines and events that um, demonstrate the latest in manufacturing technologies to engineers. Um, SME also has an event called Rapid, which takes place annually in the U.S., and so our partnership around that is to extend that event uh, and to be able to connect with more engineers and introduce the benefits of these technologies to them. How do you reach young people in school? Uh, because I don't, I, I talk at school all, schools all the time, and you know, I don't hear anybody telling people about these opportunities. Yeah. They're always trying to get them trained to be a chef and, you know, if they're not going to college, but they don't talk about manufacturing. Yeah, I think that that's precisely what this partnership is all about, is to showcase what you can do with engineering and manufacturing. And part of that is just to inspire uh, students of all levels to, to get involved in this engineering area. Um, you know, if they knew what we knew, and that's part of what we need to do, they would look at engineering and manufacturing in a very different light. There are huge opportunities uh, where you know, students can move into engineering careers earn good money, um, and make a demonstrable impact on, on all of our lives in medical, in economic benefits, and so on. Debbie, I, uh, I told you I would ask you about 3D printing. I don't know if you can speak on that, but that seems to be playing a big part in manufacturing, oh, and, and to a certain extent, it's been around a long time. Absolutely, and, and SME's been active in uh, additive manufacturing, 3D printing, as well as TCT for about 25 years, back when the technology was called rapid prototyping. And, and now it's progressed so much that people are making finished parts. It's changing the way that medical devices are made. They're made custom now for each patient. Um, there's great advances in aerospace, in uh, all types of manufacturing fields, automotive, where you know 3D manufacturing is really making a difference and, and the technologies have advanced, there's new materials all the time 
And that's what our event wrap and what our partnership is based on is, is that technology and how it integrates with the rest of manufacturing. Uh, before I let you go, I, I've got to ask you that there's a presidential candidate who says that we don't make anything in the United States. There's no manufacturing job. Everything's made overseas. Is that true? Uh, no, it isn't. Um, the U.S. is making a huge amount of uh, products um, in some very, very exciting areas. Um, and again, part of what we're here to, to announce as our partnership is to showcase that. Um, you just have to look quite hard for it. Um, but right there uh, across the, the country, there are significant impacts and significant manufacturing. Um, and part of what we need to do is to raise that awareness. Uh, and that partnership that we have will do that. Thank you for saying that, Duncan. I appreciate that. Debbie, let me ask you, where can my audience go online and find out more information? I would recommend that they visit us at SME.org and they can get technical resources, information on careers in manufacturing, information on the manufacturing industry as a whole and how strong it is in the United States and North America. I'm so glad you guys came to the Valder BB Show to talk about this. This is something we don't talk about, how strong America is, what's available in America. And you guys have brought a little light to that today. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you.